Hey guys, it's Googly Game with another ROM review and this time I've got the One 3 OS on the Oxygen OS Stable version 9.0.4 Yes, that is the latest version for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that So guys, the One 3 OS, I'm using this ROM, my base point for the 9.0.4 Oxygen OS ROM, which is the Pi version. I have not gotten around to using the Oxygen OS version 9 or the Pi release for the OnePlus 3 before this. So this is my first take on that. But again, I have been using that on my OnePlus 6 and also on my OnePlus 5. Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with how it works. So let's get started. First of all, being a OnePlus or the One OS ROM, it does come with an extra features uh, and extra Roma installer, which I will get into later. So let's get started with the other stuff. Now, first of all, what you will see here is the ambient display stuff is working, which is really cool. Oxygen OS now has the lift to display the ambient display, which I like a lot. So that is pretty nice to see. The launcher is the OnePlus launcher. I personally like that. It does have a lot of features, which does work out really well. Let's go to the settings now. In the about phone page you can see that it is the OnePlus 3. The, the Android version is 9. The 9.0.4 actually uses the June security patches which is really cool. I really like that. The kernel version is 318.120 which is which has been I guess uh, the version of kernel which has been used by the OnePlus 3. Oxygen OS version is 9.0.4. Now being an Oxygen OS ROM if you if I mean if you have any interest in OnePlus you already know that the Oxygen OS ROM is one of the best top ROMs available for even any device actually. Um, even going as far as MIUI users making a GSI version of Oxygen OS to use on their phones, which is really interesting. I really like Oxygen OS. I have used Oxygen OS on my OnePlus 60 for a long time and I have been very, very happy with it. It is the most stable ROM you can get over the OnePlus 3. One of the most uh, performance using ROMs. Great battery life. It is the staple ROM for the OnePlus 3. It will work. You don't have to worry too much into it. If you want a custom ROM, but don't want Want to lose the stability and all the features which is available with Oxygen OS which well it kind of pains me to say that it does have a few unique features which is not available in uh, the custom ROM scene. Oxygen OS is probably the way to go for you guys. So yeah let's get started now. Being an Oxygen OS ROM everything is working. There is nothing which is not working. There is nothing which needs improvement. When it comes to features it doesn't have a lot of extra features. Uh, let's get to the Wi-Fi settings in that you can find that DNS settings are available. Uh, SIM settings are available. You, you do have ULTE. I have actually disabled my SIM too, but it does have ULTE, which does work out. SIM settings are available. If you have any sort of experience with how Oxygen OS works, it is pretty much the same thing. A few things which I find interesting is in the display options, it does have ambient brightness is available. Ambient display options can be customized from here, so you do have lip to display, which is really cool. Clock styles are available. You can customize from any of these options, which does work out. Unification enabler for the ambient display is available, and also you can have a custom message on the stuff. Screen calibration options are available if you want one or the other, which does work out and also a custom color is available night mode is available you can enable that theming options is really cool in this one it does have a dark mode light mode and then the colorful mode which is kind of a mixture of everything you also have the accent color picker if you select one or the other let's just select the dark mode for now the uh, color option you do have an option to select the accent color and oxygen OS takes it a bit further by actually giving you a hex value to choose any color you want and this is something I really like. I believe POSP also has this option which for some weird reason is the only external custom ROM which has that. I want this feature in all the other ROMs because this is really cool. This is something which I really like. One of my top favorite features about Oxygen OS is the ability to select a custom accent color not just bound by the uh, developer who has made it. So it's really cool. LED notification options are available which is kind of there. Uh, fun size display size options are available. Available. In the status bar option, you can enable the display network speed so you can see that. I like the open beta option where it is a value underneath it, it says kbps, which is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I believe. It only displays a uh, download speed. Battery bar is also available, you can customize that. Time option, you can have the seconds also. And icon manager, you can enable disable water icons appears here, so you, you have disabler for VLD. Some people do like that. Now, in the screensaver options are available, auto screen rotate can be enabled from here, which is normal stuff. 
Sound stuff, again, normal stuff, uh, phone ring options are available. You can enable SIM 1, SIM 2 notifications separately if you want to have that. Incoming call vibration patterns are available, uh, touch sounds and all that is available. It works really well, I'm really happy with that. Now in the buttons and gesture options, it does have alert slider. Well, again, alert slider is a staple of OnePlus devices and it does work exceptionally well as you would expect and it just works. You have options for the vibration options and uh, what all um, gets past that. It is available. Button options, you do have back lighting you can enable disable that swap button to have the samsung layout of things on screen navbar is available which you can enable if you want to have that long press and double tap on the buttons and the home button and back button you can customize that it does have turn off screen which is one of my favorite feature so you can customize that for all of these buttons which does work out big gestures are available so you can have a flip to mute three finger screenshot again one of the only one where it works correctly uh, answer by gesture is also available which does take a bit of battery life so i'm not someone who uses that screen of gestures are also available which is again a staple of oneplus rom so it works quick turn on camera is available and that is one of my favorite features now that it has transitioned into pi it has the option which is really cool and also assistant is available by long pressing the power button which does work really well i'm really happy with that in the battery option you do have adaptive battery and all that one thing which i do want to clarify is that uh, oneplus does still have the issue where it does have the advanced deep optimization and sleep standby optimization which does in theory get you a lot better idle battery drain but in my opinion it just is a little bit too intrusive it just shuts off background tasks a lot which can be taken into two lights i mean if for the application which you really don't use it just gets shut down but for that one application which you need that notification from every once in a while it just doesn't happen so yeah i mean for those who want to do that you can go to battery optimization and uh, just disable one of this or just use that application or get that application and don't optimize that so yeah it might take a little bit more battery life but just keep that in mind it is more useful to get the notification from the application which you need the security options you do have all the options here it does have a fingerprint option it does come with face unlock which is really cool oxygen vs face unlock is much much better than the google smart lock face unlock which does work really well so i'm really happy with that emergency rescue is something which i really like um you can press the power button you do have an option for trigger mechanism you can have it for three times or five times now if you select it for three times you cannot have the camera launching into uh, button tap so that's the reason i kept it at five times if you press the power button five times it will launch the emergency trigger and you can have a lot of things there kind of a safe thing to have one thing which i do want to mention is that since this is an oxygen OS rom and i was coming from a custom rom when you're coming from a custom rom to an oxygen OS rom your device will be encrypted just keeping that in mind make a backup of your entire internal storage because that is something which will happen if you have been decrypted you will be encrypted when you go on to an oxygen OS ROM so make a backup of all of your internal storage just not to lose anything so yeah keep that in mind now it does come with utilities in which there is a gaming mode which does work really well if you are someone who games on the oneplus 3 so you do have options uh, whenever you are engaging gaming mode you can enable it from this quick setting tile and uh, from that you can actually have all of all of these options which does work out really well pay is available another thing which is pretty cool i mean i have never used this long press home button with the registered finger to launch quick pay which is a really cool feature i basically understood this from the 60 where it had on display fingerprint scanner now you can have that with this one it does require your fingerprint to be registered so you have a lot of options here so it just works it also comes with parallel apps which is a great feature but it doesn't have all the bells and bezels which i want from an a parallel app application parallel light from play store works really well i use that on my device App Locker is also available. Again, it's not the most secure one, but it is available. Schedule Power On Off is available, which is another thing, which is pretty cool. Pocket Mode is available if your device is in the pocket and if you try to enable that, it will show up as being in pocket. So yeah, that's another thing, which is pretty cool. Now in the system options, you do have a few options here. If you are planning to use OTG device, you will have to enable OTG from here. There is a tile available on this one, which you can enable to get that available. Another thing which I do want to mention is that it it does come with a system updater but the system updater is linked to the oxygen os system updates rather than the 13 os system update so just keep that in mind recent app manager is also available if you want normal clear and also deep clear if you want to clear everything on the, in your background which is not advised but if you need to do that it is available and that is it in the extra features and the stuff with oxygen os now with the 13 os there are a few extra features which is available now it is mainly an aroma installer you can go to the link in the description and read about them mostly there is a 
different splash screen and also a boot animation which does work out i have not installed the boot animation because i thought i i, I didn't particularly like it it's just one thing you have a built-in router you have option for a permissive module add away uh, the bloater is available which is really cool it does give you a lot of options for the bloating because it comes with a lot of stuff right i don't like a lot of things which is available in oxygen os in general so you do have a deep bloater which is available the rom also comes with an add-on package which you can flash separately which will have uh, all these extra applications like Adaway, Blockada and all that so just keep that in mind. One thing which I do want to mention is that I did try the DM variety fix from Triple X Strong on this one to keep decrypted, keep my device decrypted. It didn't work for some reason, it just didn't work. So, yeah, that's one thing that is pretty much it with the extra features. Now, now let me show you guys the battle life. The battle life has been pretty okay. I'm not gonna say this is the most battle life I've, been, I've gotten with this phone. It is Oxygen OS, it is more stable than it is battery life friendly. The active rain has been pretty good, as you can see, 13% of active rain is really good. Idle rain, not so much. On the long run, I was getting about 1.7 to 1.8 percentage of idle rain which is kind of a bit high i do want to mention this i did use franco kernel with battery optimization on this device with oxygen os and uh, it is killer it is really cool gives you a very very good battery life i'll let you guys try it and uh, get the results yourself i'm not going to spoil it here but let me tell you it is great it is really really good keep that in mind now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom on this one i'm getting about 170,000, which is kind of high for a Pyrom on the OnePlus 3 but this is Oxygen OS. Oxygen OS has, has been known to cheat in uh, benchmarking applications. I do want to say that everything is smoother than what you would be experiencing in USB based ROM. Everything is, seems to be a little bit smoother. Everything just flows. I'm really happy with it. It just works so I'm really happy with all the overall performance of the ROM. I did play a few games on it. It's normal. It's how you would expect it to work on a Pyrom. Now the stability of the ROM. I mean I'm not gonna say this again this is the most stable rom you get with the oneplus 3 so yeah that's pretty much it now the camera well the oneplus 3 camera or the oneplus 3 camera application oxygen os has not been the best of options but it is stable it will work it does have a slow mo it has time lapse it has uh, the pro mode which gives you a little bit more options here and there it works and i'm pretty happy with everything so it's just what it is you can use google camera and get a little bit more performance or a little bit more options out of it which will work again so i'm really happy with the camera overall package of it now the aesthetics of the rom aesthetics of the rom is pretty cool it does come with the light mode it got it has a dark mode which is proper dark not the google uh, darkish mode it is black and it works out really well i'm really impressed with the uh, hex selector for the accent color which is really cool i want that feature to be available with other roms also apart from that one thing which i do want to mention is that the dark mode doesn't change the notification options to dark also which i would have liked to have now the overall experience of using the rom the overall experience of using the rom has been pretty divine it is really cool to be back on oxygen os which actually works a lot better now than it was on the audio releases of five and um, i'm really impressed with it it just works really well i'm happy with how it works personally i've already told this oxygen os is the only other dark rom which i want on my device if i don't have access to a custom rom it just works really well i'm really happy with it overall it is an amazing rom and uh if you are going to try uh oxygen os i would suggest go with the one three os so i'm really happy with it so yeah that is pretty much it in the uh, device one thing which i do want to mention is that it does have call recording which is great i like it it is a oxygen os feature if you are from a region where call recording is not available you can use or there are a lot of applications which will enable that and it will work one more thing is that i am using 9.0.4 after uh, using 9.0.3 i dirty flash the 9.0.4 version which requires no wipes just flash it and uh, select everything which you just need and uh, there is an instruction in the forum down below you can go and check that out really easy to upgrade which is really cool i guess how much is it about the rom then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe like the video if you want it useful see you guys next time bye